All the way in the yard. All the way in the yard. Wiener, I'm talking to you. All the way in the yard. Keep going. Good boy. Past the deck. There you go. Oh, fresh air. Good morning, everybody. So we're home today. It's going to be a good day. They got some snow while I was gone. The snow had pretty much all melted away because uh, we got that one big snowfall and most of it left. And then while I was on this trip, I didn't get any snow where I was in Minnesota. We got quite a bit of snow here. It is what it is. It's got to happen, right? We got to have a white Christmas. So we need snow before Christmas. So we clean up after our dogs every time. We never we never let their waste just sit out in the yard. I think we both think that think that's disgusting. Some people just leave it out in the yard and then it's spring, it's all mushy and it's all over the place and it's just you can't have people in your backyard because they're constantly stepping in it. That's gross. Now, so we we've always followed them around and scooped it up and threw it out right away to get it, get it out of the yard. And uh with this bigger yard <laughs> It's like a new level of difficulty chasing these guys around. <laughs> yeah, and then sometimes we miss one. And then we gotta go and like do the rounds after to make sure we got them all. Because we don't want them just sitting in the yard, especially under the snow. That's just a nasty surprise in spring that we don't want. And we, we keep our yard nice and clean of it. Another thing we're going to have to do in spring is to rake up all of these leaves as soon as we're able to. The previous owners obviously didn't do it because they moved out just as the leaves were falling. And why would they, you know, rake an entire yard that they're not going to be living in, right? I, I totally get it. So uh, we got to take care of this, otherwise that'll start to cause problems. That'll be our spring project first thing. Right, Chevy? You going to help? Nope. Poor Diesel just doesn't have the energy he once did. Can't run very long anymore. I can't run as long as I used to either. That's my fault. I could. If I worked at it, but... We all get old eventually, right Diesel? Nothing wrong with that. I mean, maybe he'll improve yet because we have such a bigger space now. He has all the space to run around and maybe he just needs the exercise, you know? Maybe his body will adjust. But I think his back hips are starting to you know, show their age a little bit, unfortunately. He used to be so energetic. Like, I couldn't keep him off the countertops. It was... <laughs> <laughs> he wouldn't dare go on the countertops when I was home, but I would notice that if I left him at home and someone was at the door, well, suddenly there would be evidence of diesels being on the countertops. Places you could lay in this entire house. <laughs> Every day. <laughs> I guess he misses the little house. Should we go back to the little house? No. He's not enthusiastic about that. So what is going on in here? I'm helping out. <laughs> Watching Christmas movies and everything? Uh-huh. Watch this one a couple times every year. So this is the tree that's going to be in this room. We have multiple trees that are going up. Well, two for sure this year. Probably three once we're done having a playpen out. Yeah. So someday. We might even put one in the garage. Who knows? Maybe. I was talking about it before, you know, when you open the garage door and you come home, it's just like, ha, ah, Christmas. One, one in the shed. Yeah. <laughs> Backyard. Kitchen. One day, one day yet, I want to put one of those uh, 
a tree where you put half of it in here right in front of the window and then the other half on top of the roof so it looks like it's going right through your roof. Those People are so listen. cool. <laughs> One day. The neighbors will know us. In the middle of July, we'll be walking down the street. They'll be like, oh, look, there goes the Christmas people. So I've been working on this garage. I still have a little ways to go yet. We have a bunch of other things to get done, so I haven't been able to do too much. We've got to get all of this stuff organized and out of here. A lot of this stuff is going to go into the shed in the backyard back there. And all of this needs to sort of be unpacked one box at a time. We're either going to find a spot for it in the house or we're going to give it away uh, to a thrift store or something just to get rid of it, get it out of the house. And once this is all clear, then we can get the terrain inside the garage yet. Diesel, you want to go outside? Yeah, those are our gazebo posts. I got to take those outside yet too. Put them beside the, beside the shed or beside the fence or something back there. Come on, let's go. Come on, Diva. What's this? Huh. It's a purple rock. Interesting. So this is the shed where I want to put everything. Back here. Not everything, but like the lawnmower, the uh, gardening stuff, anything for the outdoors really. Anything that's okay to freeze. This is the inside of it. So this is where some stuff will go. I mean, it's obviously not insulated, so it has to be able to freeze. But this is a nice storage area. These the previous owners left here, so I guess they're ours now. And you can store some lumber up there or other things. Got the screwed on here. Oh, he left some of this too. Yeah, right on. Cool. That'll come in handy. All right, Diesel? So we'll see what makes it out here, what stays in the garage, and what makes it into the house. It's a whole big organization process. I don't want to leave this for years and years because usually this is what I do, right? Because I've moved so often since I moved out. I moved out on my own in 2006. I was 18 then, and I've been on my own ever since. And that was my choice. I, I wanted to be independent. I've always been very independent. It's hard for me to accept help at any time. I like doing things myself. But uh, you know, sometimes help is needed. But now that we're here, we have a family. I don't want to be bouncing my family around house to house anymore. It was different when it was just me, when it was just me and Brett. But uh, we've got a kid now and we want to give them stability and keep them in the same place. If at all possible. I mean, life happens, right? But we're going to do everything we can to make sure that uh, when life does happen, that we stay here and let life happen here in this place. So we want to get everything organized properly and we want to get rid of everything that we don't need. There's no use hanging on to all this stuff that I've had for all these years that I've never used or that I haven't used in like six years. I have more stuff than the average person, it seems like. Or maybe I don't. Maybe I just feel that way. Diesel. We got a lot of stuff. You got way too much stuff, man. It's ridiculous. You hate you ridiculous. I got a sandbox, look. Very nice, Diesel. Are you gonna share that with Theo? Maybe, if he gives me a cookie. I'm sure he will. Poor guy. Diesel can't play with Chevy the way he used to. Right, Diesel? I still got it in me, man. It's not right now. It's cold. Frank, how about you? Huh? He doesn't know what planet he's on. He's an old, old man. We don't even know how old he is. Older than dirt. That's what we call him. <laughs> hey, Diesel. Can I get you to leave your sandbox? Can we go inside? Five more minutes. Having fun. Are you guys going to help me rake up all these leaves in springtime? We're going to have to get some first thing. The grass can grow proper. Diesel, you gonna help me? I will supervise, yes. I can't be hot here, you can. I'll just let the dogs inside. 
I'm just gonna do my round of the yard, making sure I didn't miss anything. Don't want to leave problems like that festering in the yard. <laughs> oh, I watch where I'm going. Just in case. I was watching pretty closely, but I was also talking to you guys a little bit, so got a little distracted there. Just gonna make sure I didn't miss anything. Life with dogs, right? You gotta keep things cleaned up, otherwise they build up and build up, and then you got a problem. Is it weird that I can't wait until Theo's old enough to swing on these so that I can swing on them with him? And have an excuse as to why I'm swinging on the kids' swings? <laughs> I used to love the swings when I was younger. Oh, I'd swing on them all day. Well, as long as I could. We used to have a big swing set at this place that I grew up in. I was out in the bush when I was a young kid. We had this big swing set in our backyard. I loved it. Let's see how high I could go. You still got it. Good job. We got the one tree up. This is our pencil tree. This is the one that's going to be the upstairs tree this year. I'm putting another big tree downstairs. And yeah, we've got the cartoons on. And I saw one comment come in saying that we have him in front of the TV all the time. No, he doesn't watch TV all day. No. It's just when we need to take the dogs out or when I want to talk to you guys for one or two minutes, maybe. You know, we put him in his playpen where he's safe and have his cartoons on so that he has something to watch. Or we just get something done for a minute or two, like filming a clip like this. That's all, he doesn't watch TV all day. Don't worry. Don't worry. Thanks for your concern. Walking downstairs with me for a bit. So we moved his playpen upstairs. Wanna come down? There we go. There you go, good boy, Chef. Brit is up here too. Upstairs, so it's not just me here. Clear things up down here a little bit. Yeah, I had one comment come in. Oh, you can't let him sit in front of the TV all day. I kind of thought that one or two of those comments, I actually thought more might come in. Because <laughs> obviously uh, when I'm talking to you uh, very often in the background or I show it and I talk about it a lot, his cartoons, he's always watching cartoons when I'm filming. You got to remember, I only film like, what, 20 minutes out of the 24-hour day? So... <laughs> Very often, uh, when I want to talk to you guys for a minute or two, just like this, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll put him in his playpen where he's safe, and I'll turn the TV on so he has something to watch and distract himself for the minute or two while I'm talking to you, or while I'm making coffee or something, and we have a monitor in the room with a camera, and then we always have the monitor in our pocket everywhere we go so we can hear him, we can see him, and we're maybe just across the room or where we can always just see him with our eyes too, and there's two of us in the house as well, so... Not just me here, so it's it's hard to get a a view of what our entire day looks like from just a 20 minute vlog. So just keep that in mind. Uh, the TV is a nice little tool for distraction for short periods of time, but uh, he's, it's not like he's sitting in there watching cartoons from sun up to sundown. I mean, he has his playroom over here. He's got to spend time learning as well. So uh, all the way at the end of the hall here, you've seen it. Uh, he spends. Part of his day in here as well where he learns his uh, motor skills grabbing and reaching for things he's gotten really good at that he also learns how to uh, maneuver like if he's in this playstation here or close to it but he wants to get to that one he's at the point right now where he's got to figure out how can he get there and we can sit in here and watch while he learns he hasn't quite got the crawling thing down yet but he's getting there it'll be a couple of weeks and then there's his uh, play jungle there as well, which also teaches him uh, hand-eye coordination. And he can also jump as well to strengthen his legs so he can get ready to walk. And then upstairs, we have this big giant mat where he spends part of his day as well. It's this it's it's huge thing. It's like the size of this whole living room here, like from where Chevy is all the way around there. I'll show it to you yet someday. Don't worry. 
huge mat. It's like a padded blanket almost, but it's made for babies. It's got a rubber bottom so it doesn't slide. Uh, or little rubber dots on there. And you lay that down on the ground, and then you can sit around and watch him while he learns how to move around as well. Sort of, you, you put him in the center, and then you put toys around him just out of his reach, or maybe just within his reach, so he can just barely get them. So he's got to look around and pick which one he wants, and then he's got to figure out how to get to it. So he's got to get up on his hands and knees, and he's got to start learning. He's, he's rolling to get places now, sort of pushing himself forward. He can push himself backwards pretty good. So that he, there's all kinds of activities that he's doing all day to uh, uh, learn as he's growing. He's definitely not sitting in front of the TV all day. You'll just see that mostly in my videos because it's a nice little two minute distraction while I talk to you guys for a little bit. And of course, we got the Christmas. Christmas tunes going here. Well, the day at home is over. So thanks for watching everybody. Tomorrow we head back to the truck. Uh, we're gonna get a head start on the next next day because I load the day after tomorrow in Kenora. So I'm gonna head there tomorrow night to get ready because I wanna be there first thing in the morning. I wanna see if I can be first in the gate. I'm never first in the gate. We're gonna try tomorrow. We'll see what happens. There's always those sneaky guys that get in there before me somehow, but it's okay. Either way, uh, the place where I'm delivering tomorrow is open until 10 p.m. and it's only a six hour drive so really there's there's no big rush to get unloaded super early tomorrow but I do want to get unloaded uh, or pardon me the day after tomorrow I do want to get unloaded as uh, as early as I can just so that I can get my myself on the right foot for my reload whichever direction that'll be in so I can get right up to there maybe even reloaded we'll see uh, just wanna like I said laser focused we got a lot to take care of now, and I want to make sure that we do that as quickly as possible. Get that out of the way, get that out of the way, so that we can just focus on enjoying life again and not worrying about all that, right? So, gotta keep trucking, gotta keep those wheels turning. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for hanging out with me at home. We'll be at the truck tomorrow. Take care, drive safe out there, keep your head up, keep your stick on the ice, and drive safe. <laughs>